Hey, this is Tyler, and I'm going to be showing how to model sloped pipe quickly without a bunch of errors in it. So, the um, thing is, is it's not an intuitive approach. If you do it intuitively, uh, it'll probably be awful. So, um, what you might think that the right way to do this is, is to lay the main out first and then come in with branches. So, oops. so come in with the main and then come in afterwards with the uh, with the branches coming in. Don't do this because Revit has a hard time figuring out how to make this fitting with sloped pipe. So you don't want to do that. So when you're laying out your system, the best way is to uh, create an elbow everywhere you need a branch and then change this fitting and hit a little plus sign on it and then keep going. So you just do this everywhere you know you need to branch off. Elbow first, come back, modify the fitting. Oh, got a little lost there. Uh, and continue on like this. And it's actually quite a bit faster. Now sometimes of course you're going to have to tap into this and there's a method for that that works pretty well. So uh, hit this main guy, hit CS for create similar, change this to slope down, come in and then draw a parallel pipe right there and then use the uh, slice tool SL or split I think it is uh, to cut up cut a chunk out of this segment, then use the align tool, AL by default, to align it in plan, and then bring a section over and align it in section. So this piece is this piece right here. And I'm just going to use the align tool to line that back up. And then I'm going to use the trim tool, TR, to trim that together, and then turn that into a lateral and finish the pipe. Be careful, it remembers what I last did. I was last in slope down, but I'm going up again, so I need to change that to slope up. Make that connection. Voila, that was pretty fast.